Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and thank you so much for being here. So, I'm going to do a read for you and that other person, and uh, this is going to be for the month of July 16th through the 31st, 2019. Uh, and this will be for all Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as your Venus signs, all right? Uh, do keep in mind that this is a general read. It may not resonate with all of you here, but I do hope that there is something that you can take with you, okay? So uh, if you'd like a personal read, go to theguidedintuitive.com and we'll get you hooked up over there, all right? So uh, keep in mind, too, is that uh, I'll be focusing on you on one side and then the other person on the other, and feel free to reverse the messages as you see fit, okay? So just note that all right uh and what else do i need to let you know um i think that's it we got bella sitting over here she's joining us uh taking her uh her afternoon nap <laughs> so i'm um, excited to have her with us but uh Let's see what wants to come out for you here. All right, please continue your likes, your subscribes, your shares, note your comments below. I do appreciate that. I so appreciate that, guys. I do. All right, so I'm going to cut the deck and uh, let's see what's going on for you here, okay? What wants to come out for Taurus here, okay? Here we go, the first card. Oh, boy. Brace yourself, okay? <laughs> All right, so we have got the uh, Ten of Swords. Now, this could relate to a, uh, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or this could be the energy that you are, uh, that, that's going through you right now. It's almost as if you're, you're not sleeping at night, you're being kept up at night, incessantly worrying and looping that worry over and over again. And what this is saying is that um, this is what's been keeping you up it, as it relates to a current situation. Now, the other person could be, as I mentioned um, in my previous uh, videos, that it could be a person of interest. It could be a, 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 um, a current uh, love right now. Uh, and it could be even a friend or family member. So just note that, okay? So relating to this situation, something is keeping you up at night as it relates to this. So we're going to get down to this. We're going to find out what this is. Okay. So let's continue here. So I think what you're looking for is balance in terms of the relationship. You need to balance your emotions a little bit better uh, in the process. And uh, this is seen is that more of this uh, 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 balancing uh, of emotions, heart and head, uh, body, mind, and soul all kind of balancing together. And you're it's looking like you have to pour into one cup and then pour into the other just to balance these things out, all right? Uh, and uh, interesting, okay? And the swords, you know, it's funny because this is water, right? Water energy. And this is the, uh, you know, the swords relate to a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, which is air energy, but the water barrier. So interesting. Well, we're going to see how this works out. But uh, temperance, this is, again, balancing out this, okay? Letting, uh, you know, getting out of the uh, head and dropping down into the heart to balance things out a little bit more. Get into the emotions, not just in the head, which is on the, the physical plane. It's balancing that out a little bit better so you could fly uh, you know, much better and get enlightenment. Okay. So, uh, let's continue this and see what wants to come through here. Uh, the temperance is the, is the cups, right? So, uh, it's a major arcana card, but the temperance is cups would be cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. All right, let's continue. Um, let's continue, uh, clarifying. I'm going to clarify this 10. Yeah. See, this is nice. What I like is that, um, excuse me, I should say it wasn't the nine, uh, Ten of Swords, it's the Nine of Swords, okay? So you not quite the Ten, but this is good. That's good because what happens to come into play is that you get the Page of Pentacles, you get a message coming through right now. There's some sort of message that comes through to you right now um, as it relates to the current situation that you have your eye on. And you're very, very passionate about that, but this is uh, all about, uh, yeah, this is all about this uh, uh, manifestation. This is a new way of doing things, a new way of approaching things, a, a, a new a relationship, a new situation. So let's continue this and see what else wants to come out for you here. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So uh, someone, you or someone carrying on that energy. Um, yeah, I, I was thinking there was a new emotional fulfillment, something that I felt was coming through. You get the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups talks about a potential. This is about, yeah, this is about a potential companionship and intimacy. And it could be a new beginning uh, with a, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. It's Paige, so they might be a little bit younger. So just note that. 
um, but it is an opportunity for you and it truly uh, gets you out it gets you leveling out your emotions much much better and out of this okay this is what I like we're moving in a very very positive way here okay so this is good what else wants to come out for you here yeah previously you were bound and tied up but it all had to do with just a perspective that you had on the situation quite frankly uh Taurus, and it really just wanted you to to rid you of the binds that held you to this way of thinking so it wants to get you out of that and it could be you know just looking at something differently and again getting out of the head that of which you can't control knowing that that's just you know that is 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 done with and you need to focus you know primarily on a different perspective out of the situation okay because you've got a brand new beginning and this new beginning couldn't come unless you change your perspective so i truly feel that uh, you balanced your emotions out quite a bit because you balance them out uh, you know, you were able to, you know, uh, you know, get your grounding uh, much, much better here. Yeah, you were getting your balance back. You were getting your purpose back again. Okay, and then because of that, uh, you had this new opportunity that came into play. It brings you emotional fulfillment, uh, and this is beautiful because the Ace of Cups is about emotions, and that is uh, about you know companionship. Uh, it is also about intimacy as well, too. So this is quite beautiful. Okay. Love it. Love it. Okay. Um, now, you also might have another, uh, someone else that comes into play. And this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There is a page of swords that's coming to you uh, that is offering a, some sort of message that's coming to you. Um, with, you know, uh, very, they're very courageous. They're very energetic. Again, so it could be someone that's a little bit younger or or, uh, uh, you know, or, 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 you know, that type of thing. It could be that as well. But you've, it looks like you've got a couple opportunities to choose from here. Just saying, okay? So nothing short of that. And that's what happens when you change perspective, okay? Right, Taurus? That's what happens. So let's continue and see what else wants to come out for you here. Oh, my gosh. Jeez. Uh, how many suitors do you have, Taurus? <laughs> okay? Because the next card that we get here is the Knight of Cups, Okay? Well, the nights are about motion. So this could be, uh, you know, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So I got to tell you, I mean, you, you've got a Capricorn, uh, you know, that type of energy here. You've got the air energy here, and you've got the water energy here. So uh, uh, this is saying, no wonder your cup is running over. Okay, it's because yeah, it, it, it's a little bit, it's a lot, right? It's a lot to handle, okay? So um, that's what I'm seeing here. How interesting. So you're, there's nothing short of opportunity here for you I'm, I'm just letting you know and and that's what happens when you balance things out a little bit and 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 get and, and, and get rid of this type of, of thinking here and ridding of that um, so this is beautiful anything else that wants to come out for you here oh my gosh okay so we've got the page of cups so the, the page of cups is, is actually moving forward and perhaps uh, you know again you've got uh, it's interesting. Um, it's almost like someone's offering a cup of love to you, but you're offering a cup of love to someone else. And this is as it relates to a, uh, could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Okay. So you do get the page of cups. And again, the pages are about messages. When I get the cups, it's all about, um, it's all about like, you know, being creative. Uh, synchronicity. Uh, so whatever is, is meant to happen is kind of coming into play and coming into play in a much more timely way and a surprising way, okay, is what I'm seeing here. How interesting. This is let you know that you have the strength to continue and to move forward. Um, whatever it is in your heart's desire as it relates to this current situation, okay, you've got the strength, you've got the courage to move forward, all right? Uh, if you want to take it to a next level, you can. Uh, and in doing so, you actually get the sun card. So a lot of good vibrations. Taurus, you are really coming out strong. This is amazing because this is new vibrancy, uh, passion for life, you know, feeling like a kid again, all over again, but feeling really, really good. A big difference to when we first started, right? And then to where we ended. Very, very big change for you. Let's take a look at this other person and see what's happening over for them, okay? All right. Let's see what's going on for them. So it could be, um, they. I, I get the six of pentacles. Uh, sixes are about growth. And this person is about stabilizing their life. 
uh, maybe wanting to put things in balance a little bit better, could be a Libra, Capricorn, or Taurus, or Virgo. Um, but it is someone that is, is uh, uh, a Taurus that is, uh, you know, kind of balancing things out a little bit. Uh, and, you know, it, that's what I'm saying. Is you might resonate with this side more than other. We'll, we'll wait and see. But I'm focused on this for the other person. They're balancing themselves out a little bit. It looks like um, they're getting help from someone or someone's helping them as it relates to their maybe some sort of stability, uh, uh, you know, that type of thing. Maybe it has to do with this relationship. One's helping one out a little bit more uh, to balance things out. Okay, that could be. What else wants to come into play? When things are balanced out, they get back in themselves in the driver's seat. And then they feel a little bit more in control of the situation. But I think they needed a, um, they needed to balance themselves out. And so that's kind of in the process of what they're doing. Uh, the chariot is about movement. So it is about moving forward. So that's what I see here. Um, it's having like the control and the willpower to help balance the situation out. Um, so that's what I'm seeing over here. That's a major kind of card. So that's good. Um, what else wants to come into play? They get the magician, another major arcana. This is saying that they've got the resources necessary to make the changes in their love life that they want to see. Uh, so, and to make it happen on the on the, the physical plane, but with a, with the assistance from the spiritual plane as well. So they've got all the tools necessary to make the changes that they definitely want to make in the in this particular situation. So this is beautiful. Yeah, I like this. So this is about having the power taking action moving forward relating to the relationship the situation very nice yeah and, and what i'm getting is that um it's like it's almost as if that they are putting an end to the strife they do not want any more of uh this uh five of wands and this is about adversity conflict tension uh, this is about uh, disagreement. This is about strife, right? They, they, they no longer want any more of that, okay? Uh, I think what happens is that they, they don't want any more of the adversity. They want the happy ever after with you, the balancing of the scales on the both sides uh, and the, uh, you know, kind of the vine that's going through there that, that talks about success. Uh, two people raising their arms, you know, together holding hands in front of the castle. Very, very beautiful. No more strife. This is what they want. Okay. Um, very, very nice. I like to see that here. Okay. Maybe that's making you happy over on this side and, and why the sun is shining so brightly. You know, this is beautiful. Uh, let's continue for this other person. See what else wants to come into play. Yeah. It's like previously, I think that there was an offer that was offered to them, but they didn't want it. Uh, an opportunity, uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, uh, that maybe was offered to them on, you know, and it just, it wasn't what they really wanted at the time. And so they just kind of, um, they let it go and didn't respond. What they were really focused on is this, the happy ever after. They wanted the ton of pentacles. They want the happy life, happy home, uh, with the dog, parents, uh, you know, the castle in the background, work, uh, that type of thing. The Ten of Pentacles is as about, you know, about being emotionally, uh, you know, just really uh, um, uh, very wealth, wealthy, very uh, established, grounded, stability, uh, in, in that type of thing. So that is really beautiful. Now let's go ahead and see if there's uh, what else wants to come out uh, for you. Uh, I'm going to go back to the sun card. So this is good. Something's making you happy. Now I don't know if it uh, happens to be uh, this other person, but they're, um, it's almost as if, um, yeah, I mean, they're looking for that happy ever after. And, uh, that's what I'm kind of seeing here and um, really focused. This person's really focused on, um, balancing their emotions and, and that type of thing and getting that together. Um, but in the past, I, I do believe in the past that there was some heartbreak, uh, in the past for this individual. Um, you know, maybe, uh, you know, in their situation, there was probably a third party situation that came up. And the reason I say this, I just happened to pull a card here and it's, it's, uh, the, the heartbreak. So there probably was heartbreak on this other person. And so this other person is kind of getting their balance. That's probably why they had to get the balance back. Right. Um, they were doing a lot of the work themselves, but it's come to a completion, right? So it, it's nice. It's come to a completion, right? So I think that's beautiful. Now I'm going to pull a card for you on this other side. You ended with the sun. So let's see what wants to come out for you um, as it relates to uh, the situation in this relationship. Here it is. What do we get? War and peace. Wow. You know, remember this like, um, you know, this other person didn't want any strife. What card that I get here? Take a look at this. 
So this is like putting the end to any conflict and just wanting peace, okay? So it's it was almost as if there was a clash between war and peace within here. So this is beautiful. And this just tells me is that uh, it's almost like it's a clash between the mind and then your heart feel yearning at the present time. So it's like your heart's pulling you in one direction while your mind is pulling you in another. And that's kind of that war and peace that you were having here, right? And that's kind of how I was feeling while you were kind of tied up, right? So uh, it's really coming out in, in another deck, okay? So that's what it's saying here. It's like a... It's creating an inner war, which allow, you know, kind of brings a lot of that stress that you had experienced previously, is what the cards are saying. Um, but just trust that um, uh, that your current, you know, that just this is basically saying is that um, it's just wanting you to kind of trust the situation that you're going to overcome it and the dilemma, and you're going to brace both your heart and your mind together and trust what your heart is saying. Um, uh, yet apply the logic that is common sense, you know, to, you know, uh, to your nature, right? You know, acknowledge any fear that you have, but don't let it stay within your mind. Let it go. And that's what I think what you did is you really balanced that out. You really balanced that out with the temperance. And I'm so happy with it. And you have the strength to really do it. And I think that this is what's so beautiful is that you have the strength to pull through on that. And then you get the opportunity, of course, of the three new beginnings. I mean, it's almost like you got, th you know, you got the page of pentacles, you've got the page of cups, and you've got the page of swords. Um, and then you, then you get the knight of wands which is the knights about motion moving things forward and that's and that's uh you know when it comes with the cup that's about romantic right that's about you know compassion so you've got three opportunities relating to romance and i, I gotta tell you 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 definitely have opportunities okay i'm just saying that's amazing what happens with that you know it's um it's like a uh, you need to be rational about the decisions that you make in love is what this is asking you to do taurus right now um and uh that uh you know both heartfelt inspiration but also using your logic as well is going to lead to a very uh kind of like it's almost like a harmonious outcome and uh and it, it's really going to help you a lot very harmonious and uh um uh, very successful outcome okay so this is beautiful okay what about this other person let's see all right let's see what wants to come out for this other person okay past lives you've known this person from a past life taurus wow interesting so you probably shared some sort of bond in the past uh and that's what i see here wow this is interesting um wow take a look at this this is nice so it, it, it's some in what some way shape or form that you knew this person in a past life and a lot of times that comes with lessons with it right um, but this is really just talking about like there's an emotional issue that has plagued this person for some time um, that is now being resolved. This person is done with it, right? They're ending that. And I think it had to do with the heartbreak, you know, in that. And, uh, you know, just reviewing their emotions, balancing that out a little bit so they could have this, okay? Because that's what they wanted, right? And their focus was on this, okay? So, um, and I think that uh, this is also about that, uh, that um, it's being resolved through their dreams, okay? So whatever's happening is being resolved through the dreams. And this is about paying attention to your dreams in this process because the dreams have a lot to tell you about this. And, um, yeah, subconsciously, you know, just to, it's going to help felicitate, um, or facilitate, uh, uh, the whole situation. So meditate on this and ask that you are awakened and, and, and with joy in your heart, um, and, and know that this, there, there's some healing that's in place over on this side too. So this is beautiful. Wow. So let's see what it is that you want to say to this person and what this other person wants to say to you, okay? All right, let's see what that is. Okay, here it is. What is it? I want us to stop what we're doing to each other, both of us now, okay? So whatever it is that has been going back and forth with each, each of you in this war, peace, war, peace situation, ping pong, okay? It could be between each other, let alone just within yourself, uh, so I want to mention both, but what this is saying is that just to stop it and to uh, to get back, you know, into uh, finding uh, the sweetness and 
to know that there is, you're stating this, so it's almost like you're kind of being the grown up in the room. <laughs> at least at the moment in this second here, um, you know, and, and it's just basically saying is that um, uh, that's, that's kind of what's happening. What does this other person want to say to you? Let's see what that is, okay? Here it is. What is it? I, I know I haven't made it very safe for you. Please don't give up on me. So this is beautiful. So that's what's coming into play here. It, it's about that, you know, this person really uh, wants you to, um, uh, wants you to realize they weren't maybe acting in the saneness that they could have been acting. And they want to uh, ask for another chance to prove that they can make you, uh, help you, uh, you know, have a safe uh, place for, for, for each other. Um, we'll give you another chance to make, you know, him or her safe, you know, and um, they're looking for that from you. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. How interesting. Wow. So note your comments below. Um, but yeah, that's what I see here. Yeah, it leads to really, I mean, you get the sun on your side and this other person gets the ten of pentacles and the happy ever after, uh, after going through, you know, some real heartache, both of you. Um, yeah, so that's what I kind of see here. Yeah, they went through a heartbreak, uh, and 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 you went through a, you know that that warm peace inside yourself, let alone probably in the situation overall. What can help you in the process uh, here, Taurus? Let's see what that is. Indecision. This is about wanting you to trust your intuition at this time. So that purple is the uh, crown chakra. That is your root chakra. So it's about you know grounding yourself. And also using your spirituality to align your chakras to get that balance and to really trust your intuition and go within as it relates to this situation. And of course, all aspects of your life is what it's saying. Okay. Uh, anything else more for you? Patience. Everything is going to be happening in divine order. And I know you hate to hear that. <laughs> you know, the divine is not as fast as we want it to be sometimes, our source. But there is always a, a method to the reasoning behind that, right? And it's always for your greater and highest good. All right. So that is basically saying have patience and to know that this is in divine order. There's things that need to go through and things that need to take place in this process. OK, uh, to make it, uh, you know, a very safe for both of you in this as you continue. What about this other person? Perseverance. Uh, this person is about, you know, I know that I can uh, put my, you know, whatever I put my mind to, I can achieve. And that is about their heart and then also the uh, crown chakra, which is the purple. Okay. So this is really nice. So whatever it is that they want, that they're dreaming of, uh, that they can actually achieve that in the process is what's coming into play uh, because they are resourceful. They've got the magician type energy. Uh, could be, uh, um, you could have uh, someone that uh, has that uh, as well. So interesting. Um, and they're, they're just, you know, focusing on what they want to manifest, whatever it is, they're going to persevere until they get there. Um, now I'm going to pull a card, uh, a rude card for both of you. Just, uh, any advice, any fun advice at the end that might help in the process. Let's see what that is. Okay. Let's see what that is. We're going to start with you Taurus and see what wants to come out. Okay. Here it is. What is it? Okay. That project, that person, that idea is waiting. Go after that. The world has your back. Okay? So there you have it. Look at that. The world has your back. It wants you to go for what it is that you want. So whatever it is, it wants you to know that you, uh, the world has got your back. Okay? Nice. Very nice. What about this other person? Let's see what that is for you. Okay? Here we go. What is it? Whatever you are thinking about at this time, don't do it. Now is not the time, okay? So interesting, whatever it is that they're working on, person, place, or thing, now is not the time. So what they're doing, maybe they're going through a little bit more of, of healing on this side. That's what I'm thinking here. Let me just pull another card over there, just for him. Do I want to see what this is? Okay, just for the heck of it, okay? Wow. <laughs> So the, right after that, that wants to come through, this is talking about apologize, okay? Just do it, okay? So it's going to come in the divine timing. Uh, remember how we talked about you on divine timing, maybe waiting for this person to apologize could be. Um, well, this person's not ready quite yet. 
almost there. The next card that comes out is definitely uh, is to apologize. So you're going to know what side that you resonate most with. But I had to pull that next one because I just couldn't leave it as that, right? I want to see what would be, you know, kind of coming next. So uh, I hope that that helped you in, in some way, shape, or form, and that uh, it kind of gave you some insight. And I look forward, Taurus, to seeing you in the month of August. And until then, namaste.